All right, so we're going to talk about uh, different function types in topic seven. And um, we'll just start with linear. As you know, a linear equation is just something that is a straight line. It comes in the form y equals ax plus b. That's one form that we'll use. And let's take a peek at a table. So if I have a line and I have a couple points on that line, uh, for example, let's say I have the point uh, 410 and another point that's at 617. And I want to find an equation for that. What I can do, there's, there's a couple different ways I can do it. I can find the slope, figure out what the y-intercept is, or put it into a point slope. I'm going to show you another way to do it. So it can just take the point. So, for example, the point 617, that's x, that's y. So I, what I can do is, is plug it into this general form. y is 17 when x is 6. And if I take the second point, 410, y is 10 when a is 4. And I'm going to clean that up a little bit. I'm just going to write this as uh, 6a plus b equals 17, and 4a uh, plus b equals 10. And now notice what I do. I have the system to solve. What I can do is just subtract one equation from the other. So 6a minus 4a is 2a. b minus b is 0. That's the reason why I subtracted, to cancel out one of the uh, variables. Uh, 17 divided by 10 is 17 divided by 2. So I know that A is 17 halves. Great. And if I know what A is, I can plug it back into any of the equations to get uh, the B value. I'll just plug it into here. So uh, 10 equals 17 halves times 4 plus B. And if I do 17 halves... Uh, times 4, you get 34. So 10 is equal to 34 plus b. Subtract that 34, and I get a negative 24. So b is negative 24. So my equation then would be y equals 17 halves x minus 24. And it's easy to check. Plug those points back in. Like plug in the 4, you should get a 10 out. Plug in the 6, you should get a 17 out. 